What is the antidote to fear? How can you really overcome fear? Make friends with your fear, shake hands with your fear. How, how, how? What is this magic potion to overcome fear? I want you to first understand one important thing before I reveal the big action step. And the one important thing is that fear is only as deep as the mind allows. Fear is only as deep as the mind allows, which means that all your fears, they all start with a thought. You have a thought, which is worry, a fear, this creates a feeling and that creates a behavior. So everything starts in your mind. And that's really important to understand in order to overcome it. Fear is only as deep as your mind allows. So be careful on what stories you put into your mind. But I'll make another video on that one. This is the antidote to fear. Get ready. The antidote to fear is exposure, not avoidance. And I say this because we are human beings. We run away from fear. We want to avoid fear. We want to avoid pain. We have this fight and flight reaction. You see a tiger and you run away. Now, we don't really see any tigers in the streets these days, so, but it's the same with any fearful thought, any fearful event. What do we want to do? We run away. The first reaction is we run away. We avoid it. We don't want it. We shun away from it. And fear is seen as something if we are afraid, it is seen as negative. It is seen as, it is known as a weakness. But it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be because the only antidote to fear is exposure. What do I mean by that? I mean, expose yourself to the fear. It will make sense. I will give you examples. But exposure is the only antidote to fear. Avoiding, what is avoiding? Avoiding is running away, it's not dealing with it, and guess what will happen? Nothing. You will remain in that fear. You will remain scared of whatever it is that you're scared of. But if you confront it, if you make friends with your fear, if you shake hands with your fear, that's how you will overcome it. The only way through fear is through fear. The only way to get over fear is through facing it. Look. If you're afraid of flying, you will never take an airplane if you never take an airplane, you're right? I mean, you will, you will stay afraid of flying if you never do it in the end. I'm not saying there are steps to do it, I will talk about that. But eventually you have to fly. If you're afraid of spiders and you don't confront yourself with spiders, you don't take any actions towards it, you will remain afraid of spiders. If you're afraid of elevators, you will remain afraid of elevators if you never step into an elevator. You're afraid of heights. If you never stand on the first floor of a balcony, you will remain, you know, afraid of heights. It's that simple. Not saying it easy, but it's simple. So, how can you overcome fears? By taking small steps. By taking small steps. Let me give you an example. You're afraid of, let's say, heights. To give a very simple example, you're afraid of heights. Are you gonna stand on the top of the Eiffel Tower and confront it like that? No, that's too much. That's gonna give you a panic attack, probably. So what do you do? You go um, in a building, you walk up the first stairs and you go outside on the balcony and you stand on the first floor and you look outside and you feel the fear. But you're on the first floor and you feel the fear. Of course you're going to feel the fear. You have, you're going to feel discomfortable, right? But that's the only way. You have to then, and then do some breathing exercise, relax yourself. There's lots of, you know, behavioral therapy and exercises to, to relax your body. Get used to that first floor. Leave, come back again and get used to it and get comfortable with that. And then you go to the second floor and you do the same thing. You get uncomfortable, you feel the fear, you relax into it, you breathe into it and, and you get used to it and you go higher and higher. And that's how you do it. It's the same thing with public speaking. 
The, are you gonna stand on a stage in front of a big audience? Of course that's scary for everyone. So how do you start? You start with, I was practicing in the mirror first, then in front of one or two people or family or friends, and then um, 10 friends, and then some more people. And then in the end, I, you know, I stand in front of big, big audiences now. But it's all small steps. And the only way through fear is, you know, doing these small action steps. There is no other way. But the thing is that when you do this, when you expose yourself and you do it and you feel kind of like, oh my gosh, that sense of victory, it's that, that psychological effect. It's like, yes, I can do this. It boosts your confidence. It's insane. The amount of confidence that you get from overcoming fears, as small as they are, it's always taking small actions, repeating it. Small action, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. And you just get this, this physiological, psychological victory and feeling. And it just, it gives you so much confidence and, and self improvement and self development. It's just insane. So fear, it's normal. It's not negative. See it as a friend, go towards it. See it as something you can learn from because you overcome it and you, 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 it's, it's transforming. <laughs> I've overcome so many fears. I mean, I quit my job. I travel the world. I arrive in new countries all the time where I don't know anybody. I don't know anything. I have to face my fears over and over and over again. But you know what? It's exciting. I never think of fear as something negative. No, I'm like, okay, let's do this. It's exciting. Of course, I'm still scared sometimes. But it's for my growth. If you want to succeed, if you want to grow in your life and achieve things, you have to face your fears. There's no other way. Now go on, shake hands with your fear. Go towards it and say, hi, here I am. Let's do this. Getting stuck and not dreaming big and not taking steps towards your big dream. Stop sitting in fear, but start taking action because your fulfilled life your dream life is out there if you take action you are responsible so break through your fears and your thoughts and go out and achieve it and i want you to comment below what are your big dreams tell me i want to know what is that big dream of you and what is that fear that's holding you back and if you're stuck and you need clarity and you need to make a decision and plan and you just, you don't know where to start and grab the free training. It's the link right below this video. It's a free train to get you unstuck. Seven steps to get you unstuck. But the gift I want to tell you also about is that if you're really stuck and it's a very particular, you want to talk about your situation, about getting clarity and getting the next steps in your life to create that big dream, I'm happy to talk to you. So click the link to book a call with me and let's talk and I will help you and you can start taking the steps to your dream life. I'm so excited for you. Keep on doing and trusting yourself and go out and achieve your dreams.